Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna teach you how to do fangs. Ah, uh, just like mine for the spooky season, in case you wanna be a vampire for Halloween. It's not that difficult, and you'll get it done in no time at all. So go ahead and follow me. Alright, so for this tutorial, we're going to start with this very basic. What we're going to want to do is we're going to go over to camera uh, and exporter. And then you're going to go down to expression. You'll rub his mouth a little bit. You'll see that his feet, teeth are very, very flat. But if you come down, we got these cool, like, options to give him fangs. That's really neat, right? But unfortunately, these things that you do in the expression in the camera editor don't stay after you export the Vroid. But the coding is still there. So we can pull them out manually using Unity. So what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and export this boy. You don't already know how to do that. So you're going to go to export right here. And then you're going to go over here and click export. Name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it test. Uh, you just the only things that are required is the name and the person who made it. OK, and then this is just basically about how much restriction you want to give people. But for a test, I really don't care. I'm going to save it there. So it's easy access. And then we're going to pop over to Unity and we're going to mess with the fangs. All right. So now that we're in Unity, uh, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need the Uni BRM uh, package for Unity. It's really easy to find. You just need to Google it. But I'll also put a link down below where you can download the packages. Once you've downloaded them, you just go to Import Package, Custom Package, and then go to wherever you put them. I have a whole file just for Unity stuff to make my life a little bit easier. You're going to want both the ones that's Uni VRM shaders and the Uni VRM 4D. And you just accept everything that it tells you to import. It's fine. Don't worry about it. All right. So once everything is imported, you should have these three folders here and this little VRM0 thing. So you're going to click import. Go to wherever you put that when we exported it. There, OK. It's going to ask you to save basically like a prefab file. It's fine. OK, so now you're going to have this little guy down here with a picture. You're going to just throw him into the scene. You don't need to zoom up in on him or anything. We don't really need to look at him. So we're going to go down to where it says blend shapes here. And over here, you're going to notice there's a couple with like a little dot, 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 dot after it. You don't want those ones. You want the one that just says blend shape and nothing else on it. Click on that. And above me, you're going to see it has this like little list of all of the different expressions that a basic Vroid model will come with. So now that I'm out of the way, we're going to go over the blend shapes. So here we have, we could click on it, right? And if you click on face right here, it's going to show you all of these different options. And if you notice, among the options are the fang options we were playing with in Vroid. Pretty cool, right? So you can give yourself whatever kind of fangs you want. And you can even give yourself, there's some that are like this one tooth here, or there's the shark teeth. If you're a shark type character or maybe a demon or something, that would be fun to have. And you can do whatever you want, basically, and combine them however you want. So like, I like to give myself long things. So I usually double up on one and one. And then for every expression that has the mouth open, you're going to want to add them. Now that you have everything all set up here. You're going to click on your on your character right here. You want to make sure that they're selected and then you're going to go to UniVRM 0, export UniVRM. All this stuff is basically just telling you the same stuff that it told me in Vroid. That's fine. It's going to ask for the version. It needs the version for some reason. I always forget about that. So then you're going to export uh, and then you can put it again wherever you want it to be. And add fang to this because it's got fangs. All right, and now that it's been exported, we can go ahead and load it up in whatever uh, VRM program that you like to use for face tracking 
for me it's Luppet, so we're gonna pop in a Luppet real quick. And here we are with the a new basic character here, and you can see that I have the fangs here. And uh they're there. And that is how you add fangs to your Vroid. And if you enjoyed that, give this a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this or other streamer content, uh, go ahead and give me a subscribe. I plan to be pulling out new videos soon. And if you want to come watch me on Twitch, that would be great. I stream every weekend. And this month, we're doing nothing but scary videos and scary different things. Except for one day, we're doing a non-scary night for people who don't like scary stuff. But it'll still be Halloween-based. So... I hope to see you around and in the next video. Bye.